for the taste of Cincinnati beginnings. Yeah, the kickoff uh, celebrations here at noon of Fountain Square going really well. As you head through the holiday weekend uh, for the event Saturday and Sunday, we'll want to watch for thunderstorms. Starting our Friday morning this morning, take a look at our temperatures. It was a cool start. We managed to dip off to 48 for a low this morning around the area, upper 40s and low 50s morning temperatures. So a really cool and comfortable Friday morning temperatures now climbing quickly here for our midday. We're back to 71. We'll peak this afternoon around 77 or 78 degrees. Degrees. A look at our city cam. A great Friday midday. A couple of those clouds starting to build at this point. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies into our afternoon. Temperatures climbing 71. The dew point also climbing, but still in the comfortable range in the 50s at 58. It may creep up another degree or two today. I don't think you really notice that humidity jumping up until this weekend. That will help spark off thunderstorms. A west wind right now at 12 miles an hour. In general, the winds weaker today than they were yesterday when they were gusting up around 30 miles an hour. Here's our future cast, our departing low pressure from the last couple of days, bringing us the rain and storms lifting off to the northeast. Today is the lull between a departing low pressure and an approaching one off to cross the Midwest. We will stay in between today, so we end up on a quiet note. Temperatures close to where they should be, dry conditions, scattered clouds. But making it into our overnight, that low pressure is going to uh, move our way very aggressively through the night and spark off some evening and overnight thunderstorms to roll into the Ohio River Valley uh, potential through our night and into tomorrow morning. So we'll watch any strong storms that may fire to our west and track into our direction tonight. As we introduce a chance for storms back in the forecast, they could be on the strong to severe side. Then we'll keep this boundary in the area through our weekend. So it will help refire the chance for a thunderstorm or two tomorrow afternoon, a little bit of redevelopment expected doesn't look too widespread for our Saturday afternoon. Not, not really worth canceling plans, but keeping an eye to the sky and watching radar trends through the afternoon Saturday. We still have that boundary to the west that has to roll in for Sunday. That will be a better chance for more widespread storms, and we will have the chance for severe weather back in play for Sunday's forecast as well. So it does look rather active. A look at our storm prediction center outlook. We continue under a slight risk for severe weather. The enhanced risk is for late this evening and the start of the overnight as some storms fire off and move into our direction through the night tonight. Now we will have the potential for straight line winds. The large hail can't rule out that isolated tornado threat. I also think we should be pretty closely paying attention to the intensity of rainfall through our weekend. Coming off of a flash flooding event this week, we will the potential for those creeks and streams to quickly rise again should we get any uh, heavy rainfall rates or slow moving storms. We still have a slight risk for severe weather in Sunday's forecast. This looks a little bit more confined to the afternoon and evening time period as that front rolls in. But again, all those severe weather components in play for Sunday as well. Here's a close look at our future cast the rest of this afternoon. The start of our evening is dry. Even the start of the overnight probably quiet, but you saw that first wave of a couple of storms diminishing as they slide across the region late tonight, uh, early tomorrow morning. They're about after midnight and then tomorrow afternoon we see a few more storms refiring for Saturday. It looks like temperatures tomorrow a little bit warmer as well. Today we end up at 78 for a high, a really enjoyable Friday. Then we get more active as soon as tonight. The chance for rain and storms returning for our overnight and we'll have periods of showers and storms Saturday. We'll have some fairly widespread thunderstorms on Sunday, both days humid and warm. Monday we salvage the end of our Memorial Day weekend with a dry day still in the forecast. In general, temperatures go down a few degrees with highs in the low to mid 70s next week. Colin. Jennifer, thank you. Cincinnati